An unbelievable amount of heavy stuff going on here, uh, fellow roamers. This has been a wild ride so far, and we're gonna get more trash. But we're not even, like, done yet. We're not even close to being done yet. It doesn't even feel like we're even close to, like, a midpoint. <laughs> we are, like, we are going to be experiencing, I feel like, a lot more of that type of stuff in this game. I'm glad to be here in the real world because it's kind of fun. But at the same time, that whole, um, that whole section, uh, was kind of hard to get through. By the way, my name is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Amori. This is my first ever playthrough of Amori. Let's talk to this person. When I was younger, my family used to go to the park a lot. This park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle. I can't find anywhere. So he, he already said this. There's a tree shaking. I can see you shaking, tree. He looks like Aubrey's in here. Oh, wait. I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hang around with uh, Aubrey sometimes. You know who she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. I is there any way you can help us? What? Um... Why were you doing shaking in the tree? Really nice hair, though. Who, what, and where now? What did you do that for? Uh, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy. Weird knife guy? She had a baseball bat. <laughs> she had a baseball bat. Word the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel. Finally, it's time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We, we just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know, but first you must best be in battle. Uh, battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. So we're going to fight Charlie too? I guess so. Oh my god, the poses as well. Charlie's a big boy. I love this guy's haircut already, though. Love it. It reminds me of, like, Nenji Ogata. Fight attack. But we have a knife, though. Can we just, like, skill at this? Calm down. Calm down. Uh, oh, I know. Let's use a schneck. Let's give him some chocolate. Then let's attack you. Throw a ball right at you. 38 damage. Are we gonna have to use our knife? Jesus, that did nothing. <laughs> a bit nutty and melted in your mouth. That's nice. Okay, let's attack with a knife. You asked for this. You asked to get attacked with a knife. It's not my fault. Hey, you surprised me, Kel. You would uh, make a worthy rival for my master. Kel's gonna die. Oh, I guess the knife doesn't matter anymore. They don't care about the knife. Fair enough. Like, I guess, like, they're kids. Maybe we put away the knife. You, you pay for this. Charlie. Oh, Charlie didn't say anything, sorry. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ah, oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in far away town, probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or, or, or else. I told you I tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about the time you wet your bed at Summer Camp. We won't do that. We won't do that. That's a bit mean. We won't do that. Angel, don't worry, we won't do that. What? You can't do that, that's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh no, you mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. Where can I find, uh, Mike? I mean, the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. 
Or I can tell her about the, about the time. You know, we're not going to tell her about anything about wedding beds. Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going there to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. What's what's disgusting about that? Come on, Wonder, let's go over to the faraway plaza. Uh, I think we're done here. Are we? I kind of want to hang out with Angel a bit more. Teacher went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said uh, he's going to meet some girls there for a date or something. What about you, Charlie? Charlie's a big boy. Charlie's a big boy. A sleek silver scooter. Man, this is like a... This is a really cool portion of the game. Like, really, really cool. I would like to... Sh yeah. But this time, give me more cash. Give me more cash than ever before. Okay, so we have to go to the fountain. So, just just to make sure... It's, it's, it's the fountain. The fountain of the faraway plays yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> this is a chewed. And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's the Maverick. This is such a good song. Well, good, a good song for that. I wouldn't listen to this, but it's a good song for the, the moment. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. What an amazing story, the Maverick. The Maverick, oh my god. Girls, girls, please. That's enough, there's enough of me to go around. Jesus Christ. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! If it isn't Kiel, my arch nemesis. Finally, you're to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time, I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Kel, do you know what she is or not? I can't with their godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! <sighs> Are we going to- I love the song. Okay then, come on, Wanda, let's take him down. Oh. The Maverick. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Um, yeah, I could see why- why girls would like him, I suppose. Let's just get him. Let's just attack this guy. It's such an interesting way about doing battles as well, though, like, you know, because it's like... We're not taking as much damage as we would before. Whoa, he actually does take... He actually has a lot of stuff. Uh, skill. Encourage. Schneck. Uh, one-eighth of a whole pizza. Let's, uh, eat the pizza slice. I mean, that's good enough for now. You wish you had more. Twelve damage. Fight skill. Let's let's try and just heal him up as much as we can. What would Kel do? Chocolate. Yeah. Uh, Kel's attack fell. No, it didn't though. So that's lies. I don't know why the game would lie like that. We bought food that didn't even matter. Like it doesn't heal anything. Carvin, it's because that was like a make-believe world, and this is like a real world. Yeah, I am aware. Not bad, but this fight's just getting started. So wait, so we can't use our knife anymore because they took our knife off us. This is so silly. First take it. Oh, here we go. Wait, we should let Kel use it first, shouldn't we? There we go. You're done now. It's over. It's not even going to be a competition anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's not even going to be a competition anymore. As expected of my rival, but I must tell you, while you're fooling around playing sports, I was honing my technique just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. I mean, really, we're just like trading punches. This is exactly like I thought it would be on, on any playground. 
or any uh, between any teenagers, I suppose. I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. What is your final form? Is your final form you like untuck that or maybe do a French tuck to make it look better? One ha half tuck shirt I don't like. Your headphones. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. True. True stuff. Give me back my knife, Kel. Kel, give me back my knife. It's only a matter of time for you to tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. If Kel would give me back my freaking knife, it would be imminent. Kel feels angry. Oh, we're going to do more damage now. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Are you sure about that, dude? Because Kel's angry now as well. We're going to do like 70,000 damage here. Uh, no, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. Yeah, you're gone now. You're gone. Give me my knife. Ke 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 give me my... Just pass me knife from behind my back. Pass me knife. Uh, 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 uh. No, I won't let it end like this. You, It, it is ending like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. Let me your strength. What? Ayah! I went off the freaking thing. Hey, what is it, this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. Wait, he pays you to hang out with him? Ladies, please come back. Are you serious? I have more money. Oh, that's depressing, Maverick. You're not an ugly kid. Like, I don't get, like, what, like, if you just, like, maybe be yourself and act like yourself, you might, like, get, like, you know, some more whamen. Oh my god, you're wearing a wig? A wigu? Again, there's nothing wrong wearing a wig, but, like, I just didn't expect it. There's no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do have to know where she is, and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by the true name. The Maverick. I'll do it. Yeah, Maverick. 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 Oh, forget. No. Just, oh, my God. Just call him Maverick. Who cares? Who cares? Just call him Maverick. Let's go find him. Her and Vance have made a sugar, uh, sugar head, so I have a hunch they'd probably be somewhere near Candy. What? Call him Maverick. Oh, yeah, Maverick's middle name is Mikhail, I'm gonna find the other kids for a while, coming back to Maverick gonna save the day, he's gonna tell us where Aubrey's then will play, Maverick's not, oh sorry, Maverick's not ugly, I love him so much, he has a wig I like to touch, he's a cool kid, I wish he was better, all he has to do is be himself and he'll feel better, there we go. I love that. <laughs> I love, I love, I love. Oh, so we were gonna start do this stuff anyway. So other March, uh, the sugar place, yeah. Calvin, you rhymed better with better. You bet I did. And I'll do it again. I like this little uh, side quest though, even though it's not a side quest. It's like a full quest. No one came in Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Kim in Vance. Oh, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Well, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of my way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hold on. I I'm not here to snitch. Yeah, don't snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know really anything about that. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. 
You tell me what all reason I won't turn you in for stealing that candy. Oh, I like uh, Kel is like very resourceful. Kel is like very resourceful, a little bit sneaky, but like in, like only for his own, like only for like, you know, the, the, our gain, I suppose, as well. Doing a good job with the sneaky stuff. You gotta respect it in a way. You gotta, you gotta respect it in a way. I thought you said you wanted to snitch. I don't need to be if you tell me where Aubrey is. You two again. I thought you said you never to come back. You're smiley, smiley. Uh oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't want me to call the cops and cute. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Oh, our leverage is gone. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Vance, you've been busted. Uh, serves you right. But now we don't have anything just because we won't... Uh. Kel. Wait. How do we find out where Aubrey is now? True. Come on, Wanda. Let's follow them. I guess let's follow them. Which way did they go? Light bulb went off. Hold up a sec, Wonder. I think I have an idea. Oh, you bought candy, but you said I needed to spot you earlier. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up with Kim and Vance. But I thought you said I needed to spot you. Some cash. This song is really good too. Where are they going? Grumble, grumble. Yeah, you grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. <sighs> Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the hell do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. That's the second time someone's called us a bully, right? Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait, you can't just buy us off of candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. <laughs> we haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Uh, can you at least ask if there's uh, if he has any uh, taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we don't have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Heh, <laughs> like we'd accept candy for a bunch of nerds. Calling people nerds unironically is very, uh, uh, sorry, ironically is really funny, but unironically is like, okay, dude. Oh man, really? I was sure that would work. It's a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait, please, Kim, you're the only lead we got. Please take the big bag of candy. We we even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? <laughs> I see. That changes everything. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Yeah. I don't know the beat fully. St oh, here we go. Standing outside the other mart with Kim and Vance, they're going to beat us up. If we don't give them candy, that's what they want. Taffy is their favorite sweets. That's lovely. I don't know how to rhyme any raps. I'm white as could be. I'm from the Irish middle class. This is <laughs> working class, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how classes work. This is the end of my rap. Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy. I never talk to her again. Wait a sec, there's no need to fight. If you t tell us where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Why do they want to fight so bad? Kim and Vance, they want to fight. We just want to get on our bikes to find Aubrey and find our friend's things. She stole our friend's things. Ooh. <laughs> the rhymes are not coming. I'm as, I'm as white as can be. <laughs> uh, what is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Wander. 
You know the drill. What, we're fighting them? For real? Vance, you look like a 37-year-old man. I'll show you the sizes and everything. I'm not about to lose to you nerds like you. Wait a second. Van and... Is it Burly? Is that who this is supposed to represent? I'm not asking a question. I'm not asking a question to you guys, by the way. You don't have to answer the questions. I said it before. I know some people decided to answer the question last time. If I say, if I, say I need you guys to answer it, then that's the question you will answer. Don't answer questions just that I just say randomly. But... Oh my god, we're gonna die! We have nothing to heal ourselves as well. Your face annoys me. Someone attack Amori! Like... Like... No one likes attacking Amori? Like, everyone's just like, 39 damage is a lot of damage, Jesus Christ. You're still nerds. So now we gotta attack, uh, Vans here. Oh my god, he takes like no damage. Oh my god, now. Oh, this is bull honky. At least we're not toast. Like, we can do this with just a Mori. We can totally do this. But now we're sad. I really like the idea, though, that they're doing battles in like this modern setting after giving us like that kind of like pseudo, like crazy, you know, magical world before this. It's actually really, really cool. So I just gotta hold out better than him. I don't think it's gonna happen. Have a nice time in Minecraft there, Keen. Ouch, that hurts! Skill, calm down. I forgot I could heal hearts. That's my bad. Can I do that to someone? Yeah, we don't have anything that, uh, yeah. Vance takes 8 damage. Jesus Christ, we are not getting angry. But I guess Vance is angry because it was a good idea to be that. Again, we're healing up, but like... It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, I'll take being sad for now anyway. Because then we're going to take less damage. But we'll see, we have uh... But now we're also t getting less juice. But calm down cost zero. Okay. See that, guys, that's my bad. Like, you know, that's just like, there's no excuse for that. Really, just me being less observant. I should be more observant of the other things like this. I guess I just, I was like on the, I wasn't, I didn't have my guard up because I was here in this different world, I suppose. And like, you know, that just happens. I could have had um, our boy be a little bit more healed. Uh, that's my bad. Which I know can be, you know, kind of a, you know, it's like, ah, he probably should have noticed that. And probably should have. Probably definitely should have. Uh, but it's not I can do about it now, I suppose. Eight damage. So we're still doing damage. Calm down is a bit OP. <laughs> I wish I wish I would. I, I thought, see, when I saw it calm down, I think I just read the first part. It was like, oh, you just, you like, like, see what it says, like, I'll remove emotions. And I was, I think I just, like, was, like, so not observant of that part. I feel silly, but hey, what can you do? He still makes us sad. Vance is making us sad. Dang, all I wanted was some taffy. We were gonna give you taffy. Gumbo, gumbo. Gumbo, 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 gumbo. I can't believe you lost. We can never let her all you know about this. Come on, Kim, we gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Tell us what is where she is. Oh, you guys, I don't like you anymore. Not even close to liking you. Where do you think you're going? We want you to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fa you give us a fake answer. I'm literally going to, I'm going to like, 
actually throw you through Gino's window there. Is that what you want? Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at ch church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, she asked who told you to tell it wasn't me. Say it was Mikhail or something. Come on, kid. We gotta scoot. You know mom's gonna get, how mom's gonna get when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds! You're nerds. You're big nerds. Dirty nerds. Filthy nerds. Oh no, so they took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Oh my god, Kel? 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 I was gonna, I was, I was gonna be like, Kel's really taking a leadership approach in this, but I think Kel is like, what I love about this, and I do love this, is that Kel is still kind of the same Kel in a way, has grown up a little bit, but the maturity level isn't fully there, and like, you know, the, you know, really you can tell that like, Hero would have still been like, probably more of the, more level-headed one in all these situations, but Kel is still being very resourceful, which is really neat. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well, at least we know where Aubrey is now, or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. So with that, I'm gonna use my skills to heal up. We can use calm down outside of battle. Okay. Apparently not. So where would church be? Is it this way? No, it's definitely not this way. So near her house. So I guess we have to go near the houses. Really freaking awesome part of the game as well. I love this. Really freaking awesome. Really awesome. Like, I, like I, I'm just really enjoying myself as well with this game too, you know? Like, it's really enjoyable. Um, kind of like, you know, again, because I'm talking so much and because, like, you know... Well, I'm not gonna, like, be like, oh, I, I have also have an earache. It is harder to concentrate sometimes, but, like, you know, I'll try my best. And I apologize, guys, if I don't po concentrate all the time. I, like, you know, story is definitely something I always pay attention to, like, all the time. Sometimes skills, I, they just go over my head, especially when I'm talking so much. Uh, let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase of my hard-earned hard money. When I looked down, and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole in my plastic bag! How silly I just felt then. Do you think you'd help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. If I can find your garden shears, you have to tell me where Aubrey is. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Excuse me, sorry to impose you, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you'd help me? I need to pick up those week's medication at the pharmacy, but I feel a bit weak at the moment. I usually say by your daughter, Charlie, but she's not here right now. Would you wish kind to of pick it up for me, sir? Thank you, children. Just take it, uh, talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. You got a prescription and an ID card. Let's go. Let's go get this. Do -do 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 oh, it disappeared as well. Oh, here's your garden shears, by the way. You found the garden shears. Let's do everything at one time. Let's go back and do everything at one time. Do, 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 do. We shouldn't walk in the street where it's dangerous. I wasn't walking in the street. That was you, Kel. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Do, 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 do. Fix it? No, we need to go to the welcome art. Wrong way. Sorry, I went to the produce section, Kel. Hello. Hmm, hello. How can I help you? You get the prescription ID card to the pharmacist. Oh, you're here to pick up some medication. I actually have my medication over here for my ear. Uh, what is it called? Pinamox? Amoxicillin? Uh, one to be taken three times a day, daily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're big as well. They're gigantic. <laughs> oh, I know what this is for. I'll bring it right out. Thank you. It's for us. We're popping pills. You got Granny's medicine. You're picking up a medicine for a place for daughter today. I'm not actually supposed to give her medication like this, so I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to cover herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. If you ever need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. They actually changed a lot of those rules here in, in Ireland as well. Previously, you could call for somebody else and get their medication and their prescription. Um, and you could do all this stuff here. You can't do that anymore. Um, I think it's because, like, back in the day it was more lax. 
What is this? Okay. And by more lax, more relaxed, I mean like, you know, doctors were kind of like older doctors who came from a different generation. Now they're very worried about losing their practices and stuff like this, and that makes sense. Of course it makes sense, right? Like, you don't want to get in trouble for that type of stuff. You gave garden shears to the red glasses lady. Uh, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys who's doing to help strangers these days. Please feel free to come to my house anytime. You will always be welcome. Never say that to me, because I'll be over at your house tomorrow. Wow. I get I love indoor environments like this. I love it. Like, this is the type of stuff that I was always so into as a kid. Like, legit. A bunch of books and magazines. A shoe rack. A potted bamboo stocks. At least that's what you think they are. A work desk. Someone left their planner open. The words Kim and Vance are written in for last week. <gasps> Kim and Vance? Kim Vance. A lot of potted b uh, bamboo plates. A state-of-the-art slow cooker. Perfect for busy or lazy moms. At least that's what you heard in commercial once. I wouldn't say lazy. An unfinished cup of coffee. A refrigerator. Open it? Yes. Let's see what they have in the refrigerator. Avocados, eggs, blueberries, and grapefruit. Blueberries are really nice. A toaster? You got a toaster? Oh no. A bunch of books and magazines. Wow, this is just like our house. A table lamp. A bunch of books and magazines. I feel really weird exploring this. Yoga mat! Yoga is good for you as it strengthens your connection between your body and spirit. At least that's what your mom told you once. I love that we still learn stuff from like the perspective of like what our mother said and what our parents said. That's a really cool, nice touch. Thank you, game. Hello, I came over. Snip, 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 snip. Ah, oh, hi there, too. Didn't expect you so soon. Look here. Caring for these bonsais is a hobby of mine. It helps me relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my ch uh, children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again, or else. Your kids are too freaking nerds, lady. Your kids are too freaking nerds who steal sweets. There's an open book on the table. Pruning should be done regularly to maintain the shape of your bonsai. All bonsai grow at different rates, so it's necessary to evaluate each tree's growth rates and adjust your time trimming to accommodate. A yoga mat. Yoga is good for you to strengthen the connection between your body and spirit. At least what your mom told you once. A, a, ba a bathtub. A toilet. Some towels and toiletries. A mirror. Some towels and toiletries. That's fair enough. Is this the bedroom? Oh, they have a little bed together. That's really cute. Oh my god. So they do smile. It's so weird. Like, I can't, like, actually can't, I can't wait to get to Aubrey at the same time. I don't want to get to Aubrey. You know what I mean? If, that, if you get how I'm feeling, like, I, I'm kind of like, I can't wait to see Aubrey. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to see Aubrey. You know? I don't want to see what's happening. I, I kind of just want to live my life in... Is this the house that we... That, that was... No? I thought this was... No, maybe it's the next one is old lady. You're only as old as you feel, lady. Oh, you came back. You gave Granny Spanish an ID to Yellow Button gr Granny. Yellow Button Granny. Cough, cough. Excuse me. Thank you so much. You have been a big help. It's nice to see you. It's helping us old folks. You're welcome in my home anytime. I'll come to your home whenever I want. Knock, knock. We're breaking in. <gasps> knock it over. A bunch of books and magazines. A bunch of books and magazines. Watch TV, lady. A fireplace. Looks like it's used pretty often. A bunch of males dressed in mad. The return dresser from all over the country. A lot of stuff here on the table. Newspaper and magazines. They seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. A big table for someone who only lives here by herself. That's usually indicative of someone who's waiting for people to come home. The world's lines is the oldest of dates back to almost 20 years. A lot of stuff here. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Some strange comics. You got trash. Trash is strewn across the floor. Ugh, it smells like rotten food in here. You okay, dude? I cannot uh, begin to uh, provocate the proposal of mundane scribbles amongst one another's of deflated parchment. If you're going to describe me something, please do so in a most modern ent uh, entrapment in Parliament. So yeah, a bunch of figurines. 
Why, yes, that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly duly bethroated. I'd appreciate if you keep your optical appendages in their sheets. She assimilates my confab better than anyone and anything else. Okay, I'll leave, dude. It's fine. She's such a sweetheart. We do love, we and we love each other. Nice wheelchair. A washing machine and dryer. Again, I don't know if we're gonna like explore stuff here as much as like. We're not gonna find as much here as well as much as other places. A fancy tea party for two. That's actually really sweet.